This is the Daily Market Comment by Rafi Boyajian. I'm Maria Bashardavis. Thanks for joining us at XM.com. The run-up to the Fed meeting and its aftermath was a roller coaster ride that didn't end well for stocks. Investors hoping for a dovish pivot instead got a Fed chief leaning further towards the hawkish end of the spectrum. But markets have found something to celebrate ahead of the all-important payrolls report out of the United States later today. Rumors that Chinese authorities are gradually easing up on their intransigent zero-COVID policy just hasn't gone away this week. The latest is a Bloomberg report suggesting that plans are underway to end the system of temporarily banning airlines that bring COVID-positive passengers into the country. However, there is still no official confirmation of this, though neither is there an outright denial, and stocks in Asia rallied today. European shares have also opened with solid gains, and U.S. futures are ticking higher too, recouping some of yesterday's sharp losses when the S&P 500 slid 1%. But the mood is generally more cautious, as market expectations of the Fed's terminal rate have topped 5% again. The focus is now on the October jobs report due at 12.30 GMT for the latest clues on whether the Fed's mammoth rate hikes have started to slow the pace of hiring. A stronger-than-expected headline print could easily take the shine away from the China headlines and pull equities back into negative territory. However, many investors will probably decide to wait for next week's CPI report before firming their bets for the December FOMC. In currency markets, the U.S. dollar was on a broad retreat, pairing some of yesterday's impressive gains as some risk appetite returned. The pound gained about 0.5%, but that was only a fraction of the 2% losses that followed Thursday's Bank of England decision. As expected, the BOE delivered its largest rate hike in more than three decades, but Governor Andrew Bailey was quick to dampen expectations of more big increases, saying that 75 basis points is not the new norm. More significantly, policymakers explicitly flagged a lower rate path than that priced into money markets, sending the pound crashing lower. Equally damaging to sterling was the bank's warning in its latest projections that the UK economy could soon enter its longest recession ever. This was today's Daily Market Comment. Thanks for joining us at XM.com.